So good morning, Dr. Dana. Welcome to Feel Beautiful today. We are super excited and thankful that you are going to help us. Um, just answering a few questions about um, subjects and areas that can help the patients, um, specifically cancer patients that are the ones we deal with. Um, I'm Dana Naksho. I'm a physician trained in both conventional medicine and uh, integrated medicine. And I love and I make a goal of mine to use the best from um, those two words, the best therapies, the best education for my patients. I do see in my private practice um, a wide range of, of illnesses and, and, and symptoms, including cancer patients. And as you know, um, Bibi, I've been not only involved with, with what you do, with your amazing work you do, but also um, recently because of my um, uh, own family health concerns and, and, and cancer diagnosis. So this is, this is definitely such a um, close um, an important topic for, for me, close to my heart, important topic for me. That's such a great question. And it's one of the first thing that people do need to understand. Uh, there's definitely a continuous feedback between the brain and the body, because yes, there is a body um, a brain barrier, and we think they're two, you know, completely separate things. But the truth is, there's so many chemicals, hormones, and um, um, so to speak, chemical messengers will go through. So whatever's affecting your physical body will ultimately affect your brain, and uh, vice versa. And one perfect example of of the physical effect that a body can, I'm sorry, our brain can trigger, is you know having those butterflies in in, in your stomach or feeling kind of an unpleasant, warm uh, sensation every time it, we're stressed out or we're scared of something. I'm sure pretty much probably everybody out there had that, um, that feeling. This is really what is caused by the brain and how the brain is, is triggering that uh, feedback loop. And especially in the case of cancer patients, we can clearly see that, you know, that the constant stress is impacting that that loop absolutely absolutely because chronic stress and and i know we're going to talk about it more um later on but chronic stress affects pretty much every single organ in your body including the skin i know that's such a trivial topic but everything is affected by the stress um so obviously the whole body is important, right? But if I have to choose two main um, uh, areas, it has to be the gut health and the brain. When it comes to gut health, I know there's been um, ongoing research. And I think in general, people now are more educated about how the gut is so much more important. It's not just you know where the food gets digested. It's involved in immunity. It's involved in producing that happy hormone, the serotonin. So it's easy to see how a broken gut system can affect your whole body. So I would say if you do one thing for your health, that's that's where you have to, uh, to start. Um, the other area is definitely the brain. If the brain doesn't want to do something, if it gets into that decision-making fatigue, it will not let your body do anything. Your body will obey to whatever your, your brain will, will dictate. And I can't tell you how many patients I've seen and they report all sorts of physical effects, right? They might have gut issues, they might have headaches. And it takes them just about a couple of weeks to realize that once we're working on the brain health and, and calming down that whole internal nervous system, suddenly everything disappears or, or you know, at least improves to so, so much um, degree. If you think about that, so there's so many things that, that one can do, but I would say start with the basics. And probably I would say there are about five, I know you asked for three, but I'm gonna say the five basic um, uh, good practices that one needs to adopt are nutritious food, enough sleep, 
do some form of exercise that you love because otherwise you're probably not doing it especially when you don't feel well you know especially mm -hmm. after the chemo and and surgery for me it's it's dancing for you might be something different spend some time with your loved ones and i would say make sure you give some 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 sort of love and support to someone else i think i've noticed you know in almost 20 years of medicine that giving back even if it's just a you know thank you note brings back some such a amazing healing energy and sometimes it's it's even more important that that you know doing things for for yourself learning to to cope well with with stress is is extremely um, um, important and not just for the the cancer patients but also for um, their caregivers right because what happens and and this is really important for for everyone to understand we think that the stress will live up here right and we're all managing just fine and that is far from the truth Every time you have a negative emotion, negative thought, or something comes up in your day-to-day -day routine, it will trigger a release of a certain neurotransmitter or chemical messenger. And that will definitely not just stay up here. It will travel down that whole nervous system, so-called autonomic nervous system. It will travel down and cause a reaction. And whether it's impacting your heart, your liver, your hormones, um maybe even the area where where you know people had surgeries it will cause unpleasant uh reactions from raging from pain all the way to um you know increasing your blood sugar because now all those stressful ho stress hormones are released into your body and elevating blood sugar is obviously the less least, less uh, um, um, um the least thing we need to to deal with right now when knowing the, how much inflammation that can um, cause. Mm -hmm. So now that we know how stress can trigger such a widespread response, it's I would hope easier for everybody to understand how important it is to take a moment and do something to break that cycle. And that something can be um, going for a walk, a breathing exercise, doodling something on the paper, some sort of some sort of art therapy, or, or even taking a hot bath. Everything and anything that will stop your mind for a second or more than, than a second will, will help dampen that stressful response that your body's going through. So it is extremely important to have a, almost like a toolbox and, and, and to know what works for you and, and use that immediately.